along with the many news we've gotten from this anniversary, which is a lot, by the way. Um, surprisingly, the English anniversary got some pretty neat stuff, so I'm not going to lie. It came with Charles Osborne's retrofit. So that came at like a week or two ago, I think around that time. And yeah, we got this ship. So how good is this retrofit? So once again, I have mine at 100, but I already have her maxed out. But we have the skills. Nothing seems super out of the ordinary. I know what the bra just looked like this time around, so we have that going. That being said, let's go ahead and pull this up. So I'm going to keep my DDS, whatever you want to call it, backed up until we get to the end, and then I'll make my decision there. I'm not going to give her that hard of a time because I know I, I dislike DDs for the most part. I have from like two or three of them. But I'll give it the benefit of the doubt. Regardless, let's go ahead and talk about her. So, at Retrofit 120, we have 2,278 health, 132 firepower, 356 torpedoes, 233 anti-air, 215 reload, 199 evasion, light armor, 42 speed, 227 accuracy, 82 luck, 222 anti-sub, and 9 oil cost. So, the retrofit did give her a significant boost for offensive stats. Um, the firepower went up like 50%. The torpedo went up about 20%. I think, yeah, about 20%. So, those are significant upgrades, I won't lie. Um, the fact that she had like 87 firepower at 120 was kind of weird. Um, but that is how it is. But making her at 132... Even though that's not a super high firepower DD, it's still pretty like average for the most part. So that's actually not bad at all. Let's go to a DD guns, 140%. I think that's average. Uh, if I recall correctly, that's like about average. Torpedoes, 140%. Not sure about that. This one feels kind of low, but it's a USS DD, so I can't really say much about it. Anti-air is 130%. And then had the weapons or whatever. So I think this is pretty much across the board normal as well too. If I pull up the stories right here, we look at Laffy's. If I can find Laffy, I think I have her pulled up somewhere. Um, it's like it's okay. DD wise, Laffy has more firepower percentages, but lesser tor torpedoes. So it's about average, I'd say. Uh, more balanced across the board for torpedoes and DD gun damage rather than just being good in one um, one particular area. So. It's a mixed damage dealer. That's actually really good because mixed damage dealing means you can deal with pretty much everything. Torpedoes can handle like heavy armor stuff. Guns can deal with light armor stuff. And then you have medium armor that can deal with like a little bit of both torpedoes and DD guns. So that's a good mixed damage dealer. Now let's talk about the skills. The most important part about the new update for Charles Osborne here. So the first skill right here. I gotta say, I think that's like the lowest proccing skill I've ever seen in this game. I pro it probably is, but this didn't change. When firing main gun, 4% chance, yes, 4% chance to increase fleet's movement speed and escorts uh, fleet evasion by 40% for 8 seconds. So this buff is actually really good. I'm not going to lie, it's really good. The issue is that it's 4%. Now... She can fire off her gun quite a lot in one sortie. I'm not going to lie. She can. But 4% is a 1 in 25 chance, guys. It's You're probably much never going to see this in a regular base sortie, assuming you're running like a full preload setup. You probably will proc this like probably once every one, no, probably two or three sorties. Every two or three sorties, you'll probably see this like one time. So even though this buff is really, really good, it's so small for percentage chance. It's... It's unlikely. We're like this right here, the four percent. We're in gotcha rates right now. This is lower than SSR rates, or yeah, SSR rates in Azure Lane. This is this is close to like the general gotcha SSR five star rates, like two or three percent. We're at four percent to proc a really good buff. So if this was like ten percent, then this would be really really good. Like ten percent when firing main gun. It would make this buff so, so much better. But 4% is just so tiny. Like, even though, like, you have a good chance of hitting it because it's just firing main guns, right? This is, like, this is, like, Ranger tier RNG right here. This It's so low. I'm just not a big fan of this skill. This is probably the reason why, like, I 
never use Charles Osborne because most of her kit that I'll talk about later on is just so RNG. Followed by the second skill, full firepower, every 20 seconds, 60% chance to increase own firepower by 40% for 10 seconds. So, once again, every 20 seconds, most sorties could probably last about 30 seconds long, I'm not going to lie. So if you proc this way, you probably, you'll probably uh, finish the whole fight by then. But if you're doing like really trash clearing stuff, you probably won't see this if you're wearing like Perseus, New Jersey. You probably won't even see that. But this should be enough for a regular sortie. The issue is a 60% chance to proc 40% more firepower. Uh, the 40% firepower does help a lot. But she has so little firepower that it's like kind of whatever. But that's not the big issue here. The big issue is there's a 60% chance. So not only is there a 4% chance to proc a really good defensive buff for your fleet. If you want to buff herself up, there's a 60% chance. And for my Helena users out there, you guys love 60%. I know I love 60% procs. Yeah. Uh, this is going to be really, really insufferable if you're using this uh, on a regular basis. But, alas, the big takeaway here is the third skill that she got. On Retrofit, Beavers Assemble. When sorted with Thatcher, Olic, Foot, or Spence, or a DD with a Beaver Squad tag equipped, increase the ship's crit rate and damage dealt by 15%. So this right here is the big, big takeaway. This right here is really, really good. Um, not only do you buff your ship up, uh, uh, Charles Osborne, by 15% crit and 50% more damage. That's really, really good. Follow by, watch this part right here. When the HP of one of the, one of the aforementioned ships or herself falls below 25% HP, as a result of the damage taken, restores 20% of that ship's HP. Can only be activated once per battle per eligible ship. So theoretically, you can heal twice here, one per each ship. So the ships listed right here, I am not a big fan of because these ships right here are pretty, pretty bad when it comes to later aim, uh, game content. But if you want to use like a Yudachi Shimakaze with the Beaver Squad badge, and let's say you take her to World 14 because I'm going to say later on or probably say right now, Charles Osborne is a really good World 14 ship. You get free self-sustain by having one of your DDs with Charles Al Charles Osborne. So Charles herself is not that bad. I already have the barrage, which part of the third skill I'll probably put later on once I talk about it. But you can heal this ship and you can heal another DD that has the beaver badge equipped. So that's free sustain right there for 20% HP. Now most of the really good DDs in the game have about 2200 to 2500 HP. So that is basically a free 400 to 500 HP heal right there. Assuming they drop below 25% HP. Assuming you don't get one shot. Assuming you don't get one shot. That is a really, really good heal. So what this does is that it lets you build more offensively when you want to do World 14 stuff. So I know a lot of people, like myself personally, when I use DDs in World 14 back when I first cleared, I use a lot of defensive stuff. You can probably take away one of those now to run more offensive gear. Like you want to run the Gridman HP reload buff. Um, auxiliary, I forgot what it was called, but it was like a gold phoenix thing. You can run more rainbow uh, oxy torps for more torpedo stats. This lets you put more offensive um, auxiliaries onto those DDs. Because what, what happens is if your ship goes below 25% HP and you proc this skill you get a free 400 to 500 HP heal, which is essentially a free repair toolkit, right? A repair toolkit is a flat 500 HP health stat with a 1% regen every so often, right? So, so what this does is if you fall below 25% HP at least once, you're already paying for a, you already got a free repair toolkit right there. And if you fall below it again, you get another free repair toolkit, essentially. So what this does, is it lets you play more offensively when it comes to those uh, higher game maps. Now, I will say, you don't have to use um, Charles for World 14. You can use her for like 11, pretty much any campaign world. But you probably get a lot of benefactor if you use her in World 14 because that's, that's probably the area where you want to run two DDs 
like it's pretty much mandatory to run two DDs, and you have the free self sustain from Charles Osborne's kit right here. That's really really good. And this next part of the skill is every ten seconds, seventy percent chance to fire a special barrage based on the skill's level. So this barrage is like a it's a torpedo wave, like five torpedoes, and then some normal ammunition firing off in front of her. It's basically free damage. Um, I don't think it's like super amazing, but it's free wave clear damage, so that's always good for mob clearing. But the big takeaway here is that first skill. Falling below 25% HP, you have the free buff, you get the free self-sustain, uh, self and you can heal another ship as well too. This skill right here is really, really good if you want to use... Um, Charles Osborne and any content requires multiple DDs, which coincidentally is World 14. So this right here is a World 14 kit. I know a lot of DDs nowadays have kits built around World 14. That's how it's supposed to be. This right here is no different. This right here is a really good skill to have in World 14. And lastly, all out assault. Uh, they have a gift right here. Just fire straight ahead. That's what it looks like. So the big takeaway for Charles Osborne. From what I've seen so far, is that this ship is meant for World 14. I said it like 10 times now, but it is true. You run her, probably one defensive auxiliary, one offensive auxiliary. So you probably go like, if I were to run her right now, uh, put this away, I'd probably do like a oxytorp and some kind of, like maybe a health kit or something. Or if you want to run full uh, double damage, you can do that as well too. You can run the Black Magnetic Torpedo. You can run, uh, what was that thing I was talking about earlier? The, uh, if I can find it, this thing here, the Gold Burn. So you can run more uh, offensive stuff if you want. I personally play it safe. But once again, like I said, the skill right here is a free heal. So you have 15% more damage increase from... The best skill, you have 15% more crit rate, you can heal your ship, you can heal another DD. It's so, so good to have in World 14. Everywhere else, though, um, bossing, I wouldn't think she's the best bosser. A lot of her kit is RNG, but when it comes to this general mob clearing, if you can proc this first skill right here, this is so, so good. Really good for, uh, if you can proc it at least once in a, in a sortie, this is really, really good. This right here, you shouldn't really look at full, uh, full firepower because 60% chance and sometimes the fight may be shorter than 20 seconds or 30 seconds. So you won't get the full benefactor of this buff. But if you do, it's just extra icing on the cake. The main takeaway with her kit is going to be the third skill, the self-sustain, the sustain for another ship, and that really juicy buff of 15% crit rate and 15% more damage. So overall... It is a much needed buff for Charles Osborne. Um, I'm pretty sure before this retrofit, pretty much no one used her. I, I, I want to confidently say that no one used her skin wise. Uh, she didn't even have a skin. Wow. Yeah, she never had a skin. So I'm hoping that with this retrofit, we're going to see more light of uh, more light for Charles Osborne in the gameplay. Um, me, my DDS aside. She's not that bad. If you haven't cleared World 14 yet, you're looking for a budget ship, you can definitely use her. Uh, she is farmable. That's one of the big things about this ship. She is not gacha restricted. So if you're going to World 14, you need more DDs. And you like a lot of DDs that are good for World 14, you can definitely just farm one up, get her retrofit done, and use her. So this is a good uh, this is a good retrofit for her. Hoping this makes her more uh, on the uh, on the what's the word I'm looking for on the spotlight. Because I'm pretty sure before this retrofit, no one used her. So I'm hoping that happens. And this is the kind of retrofit I want from the game, guys. I want retrofits where you take a ship that's, that no one uses and just give them a 180 makeover. This right here is a really good example of giving a ship a 180 makeover. I know a lot of DDs got retrofits that give them a 180 makeover. We need more of those stuff. So hopefully this works out. And I'm hoping uh, people use her more definitely isn't a bad ship for world 14 personally i'm done with world 14 so i'm pretty much not going to use her once i get her to 120 but for the most part if you guys aren't done with world 14 you need a new dd to use her there you go charles osborne so that's my take on a new dd um feel free to ask questions or whatever you guys think about the new retrofit update hopefully i, I didn't offend anyone this time around when i talk about a dd retrofit and yeah Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.